Before I get started with this commentary, let me give a shout out to LOM in Discord for putting this out there for me to speak on. And it was posted up as a story on September 24th, 2021. And the story is coming out of a place called Bromley, Kentucky. In this mugshot, you see a woman by the name of Morgan Roberts, and she was charged with raping a 12-year-old boy. And not only did she do that, but they, according to the title, she had him call her mom. I would not be surprised if there are other women out there who are out there molesting these little boys and having them do the same exact thing. Like, that's some weird shit. It's weird because, one, she is an adult molesting a 12-year-old boy, and then she has him call her mom. So, it now it sounds more incestuous in nature at the same time. This is someone who does not need children, and hopefully she doesn't have any. A Kentucky woman is accused of raping a 12-year-old boy three different times. Morgan Roberts, Roberts, age 18, faces rape and sexual abuse charges. Ludlow, Kentucky police said the boy's mother contacted them after finding a text on her son's phone that read, I took your V card and you liked it. Police talked to the boy who said the sexual abuse happened once at his house, once at Robert's house, and once at a friend's house in Ludlow. The boy was able to describe Roberts in ways that were only possible if he'd seen her without clothes. Two of the boy's friends also said Roberts admitted to the abuse. All three boys said Roberts made them call her mom. She was arrested September 16th and is currently out on bond. That's crazy. She don't she didn't need no damn bond. Honestly. She doesn't need she didn't need a bond. And see, this goes back to the leniency yet again that women get when they are out here molesting these children. And cuz I'm willing to bet if this was a guy this story probably would have blew up a whole lot more. And two, he probably wouldn't have had a bond. And if it was a bond, it probably would have been higher. Now, notice in this article, it didn't mention how much her bond was. Because we know she gets 10%. But they didn't mention how, uh, like, what her bond was. And I'm assuming that it's probably, probably pretty low. Because if it's at 10%, it was, it's something affordable that she was able to pay or somebody close to her was able to pay to get her out of jail. But again, this is this is this this is what I call the gender privilege that a woman gets when it comes to stories and situations such as these. Because, like I said, had this been a man, it would have gone a whole different way. And of course, you know me too. They ain't gonna say shit about it. They'll give this thing, this all this stuff kind of cover. And one thing that I've been seeing on social media that I get tired of seeing is people making it seem like it's only the men that engage in this activity. When it clearly is not, that's exactly why people like her continue to get away with stuff like this. Because they know that there's no consequence. I mean, look at her mugshot. She's smiling. She's smiling in her mugshot as if she knows nothing is going to happen to her. I mean, she already got one per uh, one form of privilege that's blatantly obvious on her side, but she gets another one as well. She has a two for one special. I think I've only come across maybe one story this year so far, and I think I talked about it, where a woman actually is going to jail for a long period of time for doing something like this. One. And the crazy part about it is there's so many other stories out there that don't get talked about, that need to be talked about, whether it's a small town story or a story that needs to be blown up. Look at Allison Mack, perfect example, a woman who used to be an actress on Smallville, one of the biggest shows on the CW, what, what, what used to be WB, and then it verged over to the CW. Engaging in a sex cult for over a decade, not too long after she after the cancellation of Smallville. And they treated her like she was some kind of innocent party. No, her initials were on them Brandon Irons too, along with Keith Ranieri. The only reason she didn't get that much time is because she became an informant and she basically snitched. That's the only reason why she didn't get as much time. Otherwise, she would have probably she probably got just as much time as he did. But because she snitched and they tried to paint her out to be like she was brainwashed. That's why she is getting what, three years? I think they said three years, which is nothing. But she had a hand in it just as much as he did. But because he's the guy. 
they had to pay him out to be the bigger boogeyman when, to be honest, all of those parties involved were the boogeymen and boogie women. Hell, now that I think about it, his little underlings were all women, and all of them got a slap on the wrist, and he got the bulk of it. I'm just saying. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments.